Good morning, monkeys and homeschool friends. It's fun Friday. We made it through another week. I'm so incredibly proud of you. Uh, monkeys, please make sure you send me today your uh, videos of you playing an instrument. So remember, we had some choices. So you could have made a drum. Uh, that was Monday. Um, we could have done the maracas. That was Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, I think we made a flute. Thursday, we made a tambourine. Today, I'm going to show you a couple very simple instruments to make. And we're going to talk about my favorite sense, taste. <laughs> your taste buds are on your tongue. Um, and I love food. I love food. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about what's going to happen uh, next week because it is Memorial Day on Monday. So we're, I'm not going to send out a new video for you on Monday, but I would like you to send me a video of you playing one of your really cool, super instruments because I would like to put them together and have like our own little Memorial Day parade. I think that would be really fun. So if you do have yourself playing, like Anthony sent me one of him playing his tambourine and his drum because Anthony is super good at music. Um, but if you have a video of yourself doing something with either an instrument or I do have one of Oliver singing, um, I'll put those in and we'll have like our own little parade, right? Because every Memorial Day, that's a very good day to celebrate and we should have um, a parade. So we'll have a monkey parade. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take you through the morning meeting. I'll talk to you a little bit about what's going to happen next week. Um, and then we'll talk to you about the final um, weeks. Yeah, because we're coming down to the end. You're doing so great. I am so proud of my monkeys. They are learners that keep on going. And so, of course, you're going to still learn during the summer because everybody still learns. We don't stop learning. Um, but we are going to um, stop. You're going to you can stop my videos. Maybe I might throw some up during the summertime. So you can check the YouTube channel, Linda Whitman, check that YouTube channel and you can see, maybe I'll post some things that I do too during the summer so that you can see that I never stop learning either. Never, ever. I just keep on going to school because I love school. All right, so let's uh, go through the morning meeting. Good morning, fun. Friday friends, there's our alliteration. Remember this one is a capital because it is the name of the day of the week. Um, and fun Friday friends is what I call you every Friday because we get so excited that we've actually made it, right? So talking about my shirt, by the way, so it is the end of music week. I know that's very sad for me. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do next week. Um, it is a little bit sad for me because music is one of my very, very, very favorite things. And I gotta tell you, I, had, I have searched my closet like you would not believe because I have a really nice Justin Timberlake shirt that I love, love, love. I can't find it because Justin Timberlake is also one of my very favorite um, singers. But this one is, this one actually says, let the bass take you to another place. Um, it's from a dance team, but I really love it because, um, it, it, it truly is how I feel. Like we, music can take you on an adventure, right? It can take you to a different place. So even when things are really bad, all you gotta do is play a little Justin Timberlake and dance around your living room and your life is better. So that's my message for today. Today is Friday. Definite exclamation point. I'm looking forward to this weekend. I think the weather's supposed to be kind of nice, um, at least on Sunday. I would like to get out and maybe do a little hiking by myself or with just my husband. Remember, we're still social distancing um, and I will wear the mask if I'm near anybody. Today, we are going to talk about my favorite sense, taste. So I love to taste things. I'm not even joking. I'm like one of those people that's constantly, um, you know, trying other people's things. Like people order something I never had before. I'm like, oh, let me try that. Let me try that. I love to taste things. It is how I definitely take in the world. 
Um, when we were kids, my sister and I would do taste tests all the time. Like we thought we were going to be on a TV show or something and we would blindfold each other and like try to see if, if you could find like which one was Coke and which one was Pepsi or we would do now we didn't do anything scary to each other, but we would like, you know, taste things to see if you could figure out what it is without looking at it or smelling it like just by tasting it. So that's a fun game to play. We played it all the time. But there's other, there are different words that go with the, the sense of taste. Um, taste isn't just all one thing, right? So you say, I say to you, how was your lunch? And you'll say, fine, right? Mm. Except for that one time they served those spicy french fries, remember? And you were like, they're hot. And I, we were talking about the difference between hot, like temperature hot and hot, like spicy hot, right? So like if I blindfolded you and made you try this, you would probably say it's hot, right? Or you could say it's spicy. So that's a word that goes with, um, that goes with taste. Um, if I made you try a lemon, what would you say? You would probably say it's sour. If, ooh, what about this one? If I let you try this, what would it taste like? Heaven. This would be sweet. My friend, Navelle, loves Reese's Peanut Butter Cups more than anything in the world. Mm, me too, me too, Navelle. Um, but it would taste sweet, right? How about bitter? Do you know what that tastes like? That's like when you taste something and you're like, yeah, it's bitter. Tastes and taste odd. So see if you can come up with some words that mean that that have to do with taste. I bet you can do it because you're really smart and you come up with all kinds of things. Okay, instruments for today because this is our finale. This is how to make a little banjo. This is nothing more than a nail file or some, something that's, that's long. So if you had a popsicle stick, you could use that. This is the lid to it. This one happens to be the lid to a mason jar, but um, any lid, like to a pickle jar, anything, and rubber bands. If you had regular rubber bands, these are hair bands. If you had regular rubber bands, it actually sounds better. But see, see if you can make a, good, a little mini banjo or guitar. On um, this one, this is a rain stick. Yeah, nothing more than a toilet paper roll, something to cover the ends, bands. The, I used to cover the ends, but you, you could use glue and rice in there. Or, right? So, some kind of musical instrument. Let me see it. Let me see a little five second video of you playing your instrument so that we can put them all together and have a parade. All right, monkeys? It has been a wonderful week. I love Music Week. Let music take you to another place. Um, even if you're home or you know you, you have all different kinds of situations, no matter what your situation is, let music heal you. Let music be good for you. Use it in such a positive way. Music is one of those things that, that unites us all. I know a whole bunch of you watch those Disney sing-alongs. <sighs> love those right? And all of these free concerts that we keep getting. We're so lucky to be living in this time period where we can all be connected by music. So definitely do that. Do use your music. I also, I'm going to send you, I can't believe I almost forgot. I'm going to send you a kid's uh, dance video. Yeah, fun. All right. So use music. I love you. Have a great week. Next week, we are going to do sports. Yeah. So this kind of represents my younger two children who are very artistic and very, um, very musical. Uh, my oldest son played college baseball. So we're going to start with baseball on Monday and we are going to do sports next week. You know, four for four, all Philly sports. Let's go. All right. I will talk to you next week. Bye.